more time to none as a business owner and entrepreneur, you're going to need some inspiration, <laughs> encouragement, and sometimes just some plain old answers for someone who's been there and got the t-shirt. Well, you might need a mentor to turn to. Mentors are people who have experience and knowledge about something you are trying to accomplish. They also are someone who can give you advice and provide you counsel from an experienced perspective. They make it their point to teach you and to counsel you in reference to their experience, both the things that they feel short in and things that help them grow. They are also there to critique you as well to be your greatest cheerleader who is sitting in your corner cheering you on. Small business owners who had mentors had a 75% better chance of surviving the first year of their business than those without. Mentoring is a two-way street though. Most of the time, the mentor is focused on growing the mentee. That's you by helping you develop leadership skills, negotiating skills, strategic and tactical skills, as well as giving you connections that normally you wouldn't have access to. Now, what does the mentor get? From the mentor perspective, he gets new and fresh ideals, new perspectives which help them grow and see things from a different light. And some mentors and business coaches, they charge you <laughs> in return for mentoring and coaching you. Now, it's up to the mentor. The reason why they charge you is because sometimes without being charged, the mentee feels like they don't have to take this seriously, that they don't value um, the mentor's time. They could be out making money doing something else instead of mentoring you. So it all depends on the mentorship that you develop. Many of the big businesses pioneers you know today, like the CEO of Facebook, now Meta, Mark Zuckerberg, Google's founders, Sinjay Brand, and Larry Page were mentored by Eric Schmidt and Steve Jobs individually when their businesses were just in the startup modes, and we can see how that all turned out. I want you to understand the importance of how mentorship is for a new entrepreneur or small business owner. And when you're looking for a mentor, here are a few things you need to consider. Number one, understand what a mentor does. If you just ask someone that you admire to be your mentor, they're most likely going to say no. Mentorship is not about just sitting down with you, teaching you how to solve problems. It's about the energy that goes between you, principles, ways of thinking, attitudes, and so on. You have to remember that a mentor is there to help you grow into the best entrepreneur that you can be. Number two, have a connection. There isn't much to be said about here other than to try to have some chemistry with that mentor that you are seeking. When I met my first mentor, it was 20 years ago at an IT conference. As we had a conversation with one another about our technical occupations and goals, we came to understand that, hey, we thought alike. The difference was he was a VP at a major communications company, and I just became a manager who was just promoted to that position. He had a wealth of knowledge that he was willing to share. And our mentorship lasted for more than 10 years. And here and still to this day, I can still call him and ask him some questions. Number three, more than one mentor. Most people think you should only have one mentor. Wrong answer. You should have a variety of mentors. Each one of these mentors are expert in a different particular area that you need to gain experiences 
This allows you to, to just soak up the information from multiple individuals and develop your own unique style based on the information that you gain from these various mentors. Number four, do your research. <laughs> When you're looking for a mentor or coach, first make sure that you identify the right one for you. Look them up, Google them. But it's important to figure out if they are truly the right one to guide you based on what you're looking for. Right. Number five, be open. Leave your expectations at the door and have an open mind. Many people believe that if you work hard, you'll succeed. But what they're not telling you is everything that's in the middle when you're trying to succeed. It's going to be filled with victories. It's going to be filled with failures. You're going to cry sometimes. You're going to do a happy dance. You're going to have self-doubt and much more. When you're being mentored or coached by someone, you need to have an open mind and be prepared to embrace the unknown. Number six, stay true to yourself. Don't forget who you are. A lot of mentees fall into the trap of acting or adopting mannerisms or techniques of their mentor. Don't fall into that trap. Also, don't act according to how you think your mentor would like you to act. Be you. All right. Absorb the information and best practices that are useful to you and make them your own. Adopt them to your style and how you act. You should not have to change who you are and how you relate to others just because you have a mentor. Like it says, to thy own self, be true. Lastly, don't just pick anyone. All right. You do not have to settle. Just because someone recommends someone, you don't have to choose them. You need to take your time and find a mentor or coach that suits your needs, that fits your personality. You need to find someone who relates to you. Well, I hope I gave you something to think about when searching for a mentor. If you got any value out of this video, let me know. Leave a comment below. Also, hit that like button and let and help me share this information out to others. Again, I'm going to put out more videos about business, entrepreneurship, branding. Yes, we're going to talk about these customers as well. All right. So hit the subscribe button. I can't wait to see it. And remember, success doesn't happen every night. It happens what? Day by day. Hey, I'm out. Peace.